Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the import range function in Google Sheets, its strong and weak points, and a powerful alternative in case you need to take connections between Google Sheets to the next level. This function imports values from cells in another spreadsheet to which you have access into your own spreadsheet. To use the function, you need two parameters. One, the key or URL of the source Google Sheets file. You can copy the complete URL of the file containing the data you'd like to import, or if you'd like the formula to be visually shorter, you can just copy the spreadsheet key, the unique identifier that Google Sheets uses for each spreadsheet. In this example, I've chosen to just copy the spreadsheet key in order to keep the formula short. Two, range. Type the reference range from the source sheet, including the tab and cell range that you want to import. In this example, the selected range is B3 to C12 in the tab Sheet 1. In this case, the format for the entire formula is the spreadsheet URL or key followed by the sheet or tab name and the range of cells you want to import. You can find the syntax for the import range function in the video description below. After typing out the entire function, just press Enter. The first time you execute the function, you will be asked for permission to connect the two sheets. Click Allow Access. After clicking the button, the function will start importing the data and it will appear in your sheet almost instantly if you are importing a small range of data. It will take a few extra seconds if you are importing a very large range. Import range function is good for fast implementation. It's possible to choose the exact data range that you want to import. It's possible to include it in any cell in your sheet. Data is updated in real time when the spreadsheet is open but not so good when you have to use multiple import range functions in your spreadsheets because there is no easy way to organize them. You have to understand and see which file connects to which file. You need to import data in a cascade format. For instance, when you look at the data in the last spreadsheet in the chain of import range connected spreadsheets, there will be a long delay for the data to load as you need to wait for the import range function in the sequence to execute. This delay can result in incorrect data or errors because there is no way of verifying that all of the data in the chain is updated without opening every sheet, which could be dangerous if you are using this data to make decisions or putting it in reports. You cannot import the value format or styles of the source cells. It only works between Google Sheets. It's not compatible with Excel or CSV files. There is no way to schedule data updates. It's always real time, which could be a problem if you only want data to be exported from a spreadsheet when the work is done in that spreadsheet. Import range function is useful as a quick solution when you are working with small volumes of data. It's a great way to bring information from one spreadsheet to another for spot analysis. However, if connecting spreadsheets becomes routine in your work and you depend on these connections for analysis, reports, and decision making, it's better to use an application designed for spreadsheet data transfer, like SheetGo. With SheetGo, you can connect Google Sheets, Excel, and CSV files from Google Drive, OneDrive, SharePoint, and Dropbox. In addition to regular data connections, SheetGo allows you to consolidate data from multiple spreadsheets into a single spreadsheet tab, distribute data from one tab to many other spreadsheets, organize and manage all your spreadsheet workflows with its workflow view, share and delegate the management of your workflows among your team, and much more. Try SheetGo by clicking the link in the description below. And if you need guidance building your customized workflow, our experts can help you design a fully automated system to connect your team's spreadsheets. The link is also in the description. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave a comment. And to see more videos about spreadsheets, subscribe to the SheetGo channel.